Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today I'm going to be showing you a video of how I painted my um, memories jar. And I'm also going to be showing you how I create the little stars that go inside that are made out of like paper. So keep on watching if you want to see that. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm just starting off with putting these little bloppity blops on there in different colors just so it's kind of like splotchy I guess I guess that's what I could say I was going for I was using different shades of blues a purple and later on I will use um some dark blue and I also had yellow and vibrant green just because I thought the colors would like clash together well and so I was making this jar because um, I saw it somewhere, I don't even know where, but I saw it on YouTube or something like that. And I was like, wow, that looks cool and I want one. So basically what you do is it's a memory jar, I guess, and you cut up slips of paper and then every time you like have something happen during the year, you write like if it's important or special or you just like had so much fun on the day and you're like oh my god I want to remember this one day and so yeah basically you just write them on the piece of paper and then you fold them up in the star I guess you don't have to do the star thing because it's kind of difficult you'll see me struggle later on in the video but basically you open them a year from the start date so in 2021 I'll open them if if we're even alive then if the coronavirus doesn't eat us all but you open them up and you read them and you're like oh my gosh I remember this day um yeah that's basically the idea of this and I just thought it would be cool because I get so excited whenever like my snapchat memory Mm -hmm. S my snapchat memories pop up and it's like one year ago today and I'm like oh my gosh I remember that so I think it would just be fun to do with words speaking of memories it's about to be spring break and last spring break we went to Texas and I ate some shellfish and then I realized that I had become allergic to shellfish and that was really fun I passed out and smashed my face on some gravel and then the whole spring break sucked and I'm pretty sure I had a concussion because I was really nauseous the entire time and my head was just like Whoa. yeah so last spring break was fun hopefully this one's better we're going to New Orleans or land yep New Orleans however you want to say it someone made fun of me the other day for saying it the way New Orleans New Orleans however you want to say it tomato tomato am I right Hopefully we get some voodoo magic goodness going on and I want the, um, I forget what they're called, but they're like square donuts and they have powdered sugar on them and they look really good in the princess and the frog. So I want to try those whenever we go. We're leaving f f Friday. So that's exciting. Um, my hands are dry need some lotion okay so now I've written um memory jar 2020 on here and I'm just struggling to paint this black outline on here before I fill it in because I wanted to do the outline first because then it would have been a clean line you know but since the glass is like bubbly it was really hard to get nice clean lines so maybe next year I'll just get a jar from the dollar store like I had this one laying around and I was like hmm why not you know I need video ideas and this is just a blank jar laying here so yeah we painted it I was already using this jar for my little memory guys and I was like wait I'll paint it so we painted it and now you guys are watching it and I hope you guys like it very much I low-key think it doesn't look as good as it could have looked, but I still like it. It still looks pretty cute. It's just chilling on my shelf now. And um, 
yeah I haven't really put that many things in it and it's already March there's like six things in it so it's definitely not gonna get all the way full but I'm hoping to get it like at least halfway full and I'm hoping that the stars get a lot better because when you see the way I was making these stars in a little bit you're gonna be like what the heck what the heck Cody why do they look like that is what you're gonna be saying and it's just gonna be a mess a whole mess but it's fine it's fine um yeah you guys should leave like questions in the comments about what you want me to talk about like stuff that i can answer like q and a's but there aren't that many people that watch these videos but still like if you guys want me to answer questions leave them down below so that i can answer them and talk to you guys about stuff that you want to know about um yeah because I ran out of things to talk about real quick, especially when I talk fast. Okay, so now I'm teaching you how to make the stars, right? So you want to make a loop, and I draw mine about three or four times right here, because the paper was a little slippery. And you just want to use, like, um, printer paper. That's what I used. Construction paper, it's going to be a little hard because it's super thick. But you basically just want to kind of tie the end in a knot and you want to make one side a lot shorter than the rest and you're just going to tie it in a knot like this and i'm trying to make like the crisscross part become as close as possible on the top like edge corner part so i'm just trying to slide them close together so there's not a huge gap in between there so that's what you're watching me do now and then after okay we're still going we're still trying to make it mm -hmm. and you don't really want to crease them you just want to like squeeze the creases just enough to like make them stay in place to where they won't move and then you're just going to tuck this little end underneath the crisscrossy flaps once you start making it you'll know what i mean and if this is confusing, then there's a lot more videos on YouTube. I just thought I would include it. And then you're just going to fold it. You're basically wrapping it around the shape that you just made. And it's going to make like, uh, I don't think it's a hexagon. It might be a hexagon. But you're just going to wrap it around. And this is a really bad angle. I'm so sorry for that. Um, but yeah, you're just going to keep wrapping it like this. So basically, you want to make it like the slip of paper about half an inch to three fourths of an inch, and that's a good size depending on like how big you want to make it. And um, it can be as long as you want. The longer your paper is, the longer it's going to take you to make the star. And yeah, you just write your memory out on it or whatever you want. And then you're going to tuck the end flap in like you tucked the first one. And this one kept on slipping out while I was hecking trying to pop it out, pop the star out. So this star wasn't that great. And then you're going to go in between two of the points and just kind of like dig your thumb into it. This didn't really work because of my nails. But you see here how it makes like that crevice in between the points. That's what's going to give you your star shape. And then it will look pretty good but this one did not look that good because that thing kept on slipping out it was making me a little salty and ugh. yeah so we're just gonna keep trying to perfect it and um it wasn't that great but yeah This is only like my fifth or sixth star, so it was kind of um, hard if you haven't made a lot before, and that's why I was saying I hope they get better, because this one was very bad. But it's okay, because I'm just going to open them up in a year. It's not like it's for decorations or anything. It's 
So yeah, that's the star. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked the video. And stay tuned for next week's video.